Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 31, 2020, last day of the year. So uh, if you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have fallen even further today. We're trading at 89.53. And we haven't been this low since back in 2018. We can go all the way back to this period here where, well, basically back in 2018, 2000, at the end of 2017. At this point, we are getting uh, very overstretched. Uh, we could expect a pullback at this point. If you look at the RSI, for example, we are at 30. We are almost oversold at this point. Stochastic is very bearish. The CCI is bearish. And the MACD is also bearish. But keep in mind, we are on the edge of being oversold. And usually we have a pullback towards the 20 exponential moving average at that stage. And that is roughly at 90.44 at this point. But at this point, we are just dropping like a rock in the US dollar index. But uh, pay attention to it because if it turns around and then commodities will drop, indices will drop, stocks and so on and so on. So there's a negative correlation between the US dollar index and um, commodities and so on. And that's for also where I, there's a reason why I start my analysis by discussing the US dollar index. At this point, we're falling and therefore we should also see uh, commodities rise as well. So let's look at oil. So we're basically right here in the middle of nowhere. We are basically creating a triangle here. And at some point, we're basically going to break out of this uh, triangle. So we can see it uh, forming right here. And uh, we can see it forming roughly uh, here. And uh, when we basically get into this corner, we'll break to the upside or break to the downside. I do favor the upside at this point, um, mainly due to the US dollar index of depreciating. But if it starts appreciating, you could see this basically test the 20 exponential. If that breaks, then we'll fall towards this uh, support line here, which is at roughly 45. A lot of buying will occur here. But the 50 moving average, which is at the moment 33.32, 30, that's where a massive amount of buyers will come in. But I think that will break to the upside towards 50, and then we'll probably have a turnaround at that stage. So I have no interest to basically enter this market at this point. I haven't basically been bought or sold this for a really, really long time. Uh, mainly due to the fact that it doesn't really make any sense at this point. It is purely speculation that is driving this market it is not demand whatsoever because the world economy is not doing really well so it could have a drastic fall at any point because it is vaccine news it is stimulus and so on that is basically driving this market and not really fundamentals of the world economy so let's look at natural gas As you can see, we broke down towards the 200 moving average. We rallied quite significantly and then broke down again. Usually, you have a turnaround back towards the previous lows before you go higher. Um, this looks like it could actually go below the 200 moving average. I actually wouldn't be surprised if we did that because we could see a rally up towards this level here which is roughly 2.5 we run into the 50 uh, 20 exponential here and uh, that if we get rejected there if we don't manage to break above the 20 exponential substantially and that's a really worrying sign that just means that there's not a lot of demand out there for this uh, commodity so we are starting to trade within a channel here so we can basically write it up similar to this. We have the top here, top here. And when we get close to that, there should be a lot of resistance. So we both have the um, 20 exponential, this resistance line, and the 50 above. So at some point, we are going to get crushed between the 200 moving average and these uh, resistant um, 
the resistance lines here. And it'll be interesting basically where to see where we go. Do we go to the upside or go to, to the downside? At this point, if we fall towards the downside and yet again find major support here, then it's possible to buy it yet again. If we fall below the 200 moving average, then watch out below. We are going significantly lower and we are targeting, targeting these lows at the 1.7 and even down towards the 1.49. So next is copper. As you can see, we have broken down a little bit today. We are on the edge of the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators for copper are looking very, uh, very bearish at this point. So um, if we break below the 20 exponential, then it opens the door to the 50 moving average at 3.3. And um, well, I would not be surprised if we rally from here. Um, US dollar is... Uh, making this basically rally is not the world economy or anything it's probably also um, the same news that is driving oil that is also driving this market but as long as we are trading above the 20 exponential and not breaking below it then expect a rally even further in this market so let's look at uh, gold So we have rallied quite a bit today. We are still on the edge of, no, sorry. We are still on the edge of uh, this re major resistance line here. So we have tried to get close to this resistance line here, here, and now we're yet again getting very close to it. So gold should be rallying in the long run. And uh, I am expecting this to basically break above this resistance line. When we do, I'll basically be buying a whole lot of it. So that is roughly uh, roughly uh, 1900. That would also make sense. 1900 was um, a major resistance line for uh, re resistant area for a very long time back over here. But it is basically this area. So in between 90 to 1950 that is going to be a big test for gold if it's going to get through there so we could also break down for example if the us dollar starts appreciating you could basically see gold break below the 50 and head towards the 200 moving average and then you'll just see this go back and forward until we basically break to the upside technical indicators are still are all fairly bullish so it would be interesting basically to see whether or not we can manage to break this line uh, in the next coming trading days so let's look at silver so silver continues to rally a uh, little bit at least so technical indicators for silver are all looking very uh, bullish at this point we are on the edge of being overbought so a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is basically your buying opportunity in this stage. I would not buy it here. Uh, it seems like we are going to see a trend. So uh, something that looks similar to this, probably not this steep. It will be something similar to that. So a pullback towards the 20, pullback will just jump all the way up towards the towards this level here, which is the previous highs. So that is most likely what we are going to see uh, going forward. So just pullbacks and rally, pullbacks, rally until we get into this corner. And then it will be interesting basically to see when we get a double top, if we have a breakdown back towards the 50 moving average, or if we rally even further towards 35. This is a very, very steep, climb so if this line holds then we are going to be significantly overstretched when we get very close to this corner so let's look at platinum as you can see we have rallied yet again and at this point we are going to get we are fairly overstretched if we look at the at the bullish band uh, we should be outside of the bullish band and yes we are the last time we were outside of the Bollinger Band, we basically broke all the way down towards the 20 exponential or the basically the middle here of the Bollinger Band. That's uh, um, And now we're again 
fairly outside and you should expect a pullback from here. Technical indicators for uh, this um, commodity are looking uh, fairly bullish. There's still some room to the upside, but we're 66. So not a lot of room to the upside. We have been rallying all the way from uh, 973 all the way up to 1067. It is not a good idea to buy it here. Never buy anything that is outside of the bullish band. Wait until it goes back in towards the middle. Uh, that would be 1026. If it finds support there, then it is possible to buy it there. So let's look at Palu. So we can see that we have rallied a little bit up towards the, we can get rid of this bullion band, um, up towards uh, uh, 2,378. And then uh, we gave both of those gains back. So it's just the same thing. We have a, uh, we have a major resistant uh, roughly here and the major support underneath here. And we're just trading right in the middle. It is fairly hopeless. If we rally up towards the major resistance, then it's possible to sell it. If we uh, fall towards the major support, then it's impossible to buy it. Technical indicators are fairly all over the place, <laughs> to be very honest. Um, Stochastic is flat, the MACD is bullish, the C RSI is flat, and the CCI is basically uh, fairly bullish at this point. But um, I would favor the upside. I would, but I would still advise people just to stay far, far away from this. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have tried to rally uh, in today's session and well, we tested the 20 exponential and broke down. And that is a very, very bad sign for this commodity. This basically is an indication that we are about to test the 50 moving average. And that will be very interesting because the last time we tested the 50 moving average was back down here. So we didn't really get close to it, we got fairly close to it. And then we had this enormous rally all the way from uh, 1787 all the way up towards 2068. So an absolute enormous rally. So this will be interesting uh, to see what basically happens here. Um, I've no interest in basically buying gear or sell it at this point. If we break above the 20 exponential and we find uh, find it will become support again, then it's possible to buy it. Otherwise, a break towards the 50, and if we find support here, then it's a basically a very good buying opportunity with a stop loss underneath here and the target of these very highs. So let's look at nickel. So we uh, broke down quite significant yesterday. I was expecting this to rally. We, it started rallying, but then it broke down again and then it ended underneath the 20 exponential. So the 20 exponential at this point is no longer supportive. It is basically resistant. And that basically means that we could basically head towards the 50. So last time we headed towards the 50, we rallied quite significantly. However, at this point, technical indicators are looking really, really dreadful. So we may fall towards the 50, basically break 50, stay here for a while, and then turn around. There's a lot of room to the downside, and these indicators are looking all very, very bearish at this point. So a fall towards the 50, if you find uh, stabilization there, which is high, highly likely, and then you could basically start buying this with a, with a target of these very highs and a stop loss right underneath the 50. So let's look at uh, sugar. So as you can see, we have rallied all the way up towards uh, 0 0.1540 and then gave most of those gains back. At this point, I think that we are going to see a turnaround. We're getting fairly overstretched. We have a, had a really nice rally here in the sugar market, but you can see the stochastic is turning around. CCI is basically getting very overstretched. And so we, are, we have some room to the upside, but this usually is a warning that we could see this tumble towards the 50. And uh, then you can basically get the chance to buy it again. Um, at, the, at this point, the very lows on the market is 0 0.1405. The very highs are roughly in this area here of 0 0.1541 and a little bit higher than that. But this is not a commodity you should be trading at this point. If it falls down here, stabilizes, then you can buy it. Uh, otherwise, just stay away from this. 
So let's look at uh, cotton. So cotton has broken these highs and we're just going higher. Uh, we are getting fairly overstretched at this point. Uh, if we uh, look at the Bollinger Bands, for example, we have them here. We are seeing that we are basically getting to the edge of the Bollinger Band. The last time we got outside of the Bollinger Band, we basically broke really aggressively to the downside. The same goes here, very aggressively to the middle and the same here to the middle. So. It has been very consistent uh, at this point. We're getting close to it, but we are still some room to the upside. And that's, uh, that's an encouraging sign because you could basically short this towards the middle. So we are at 69 in the RSI on the edge of being overbought. We're still bullish here in the CCI. We're above 100. The stochastic is bullish and the MACD is bullish. So we could see a run towards uh, the top of the Bollinger Band before turning around towards the middle. So it is possible to sell it. I don't really like those trades. I prefer pullbacks toward the middle and then uh, then buy it. For example, here you should have bought it. And um, also down here you should have bought it. And also down here you should have basically bought it. So let's look at Cocoa. So as you can see, we have rallied significantly today. We can get rid of this bullion band. Um, we found the bottom here at 2.494, rallied above the 2050 exponential moving average, found quite a lot of resistance here at 2.599 or 2.6, you can say. But these second indicators are all turning around. If we manage to break above here in the morning session, it is basically a sign that we could be heading towards these all time high, uh, not all time highs, but these very highs here at 2.819. So, it seems like it has been, it is stabilizing. However, we also had a massive rally here. It broke down, rallied, broke down significantly, and now we're rallying again. So it's not until we basically start seeing this trending higher and basically making higher lows that we can basically say that we're at least heading towards 2.75. So, so uh, yes. We'll see basically what happens. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has also rallied significantly today. Um, probably most of this is a, a reason for a reason because the US dollar is depreciating. But at this point, we are trading at 639. Technical indicators are looking very bullish for this market. We're still a lot of room to the upside. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, we should be on the edge of the Bollinger Band. And as you can see, we are. Last time we were there, we broke towards the middle. Uh, we could see something similar um, in the coming session. Probably a little bit of red candlestick here. Looking, uh, If it starts looking ex uh, exhausted here, then it could basically break towards the middle. But uh, that is basically the buying opportunity. So we have been in an uptrend for a very long time now. We basically can see the bottom here. So this market is most likely going to go higher, but pullbacks are basically the buying opportunities for this market. So uh, if you have any questions, just write to me on uh, Patreon. Um, otherwise, good luck and uh, happy new year.